Okay, hopefully this felt a bit more familiar and happy. So now we're just dealing with geometrical applications of calculus, stationary points, turning points, all that jazz. Okay, have a look at this. I, I hope that my solution in this case speaks for itself and there are no weird mystery curveballs in it. What am I doing? What am I doing? Second derivative, I'm looking for a change in concavity. I've found two possible places where it might happen, which is why I say they may occur. But of course, we know that the second derivative being 0 is no guarantee. Uh, so that's why I have to test. Okay? And you can see one of the possible points of inflection isn't one. So there's no change in the sign of the second derivative, uh, whereas the other one is. So this one's good, and this one's a dud. Okay, Make sense? Um, the question says, find the singular x one of the point of inflection. So all you need is x equals 3. You don't even need to find coordinates. So you're welcome. Okay. Part B. Um, part B is something of a classic question. Uh, in max min, there's only so many varieties of things that we want to maximize or minimize. And this is, one of the, um, this is one of the classic ones. So you've got all of the dimensions there. They give you a long preamble that tells you what exactly they're doing with this cylinder and with this rectangular beam. But you, have to, you can dive in fairly rapidly, in fact, if you, if you recognize this thing. Show that S, which is the strength of the beam, is given by uh, that equation. Okay? Now, just look on the question paper. Before we look at my answer, look at the question paper. Um, immediately before part one, there's, a, there's already an equation which has an S in it. Right? It says S equals K D squared W. What are we doing from that equation to this one where I'm supposed to show? What's the difference? Yeah, there's, you do a substitution to eliminate D, right? Now, the reason we do this is simple. I want to differentiate, so I want an equation with one variable, not two. There's a K in there, but why don't I mind about the K? It's a, it's a constant. It's a pronumeral, but it's not a variable, so you don't need to worry about it. Okay? So all you need to do is throw in some Pythagoras, good old Pythagoras. Uh, that way you can substitute out D squared, so that part falls out fairly happily. Part two, uh, it's four marks. Why is it so many marks? Because there's lots to do, right? You've got to differentiate. You can see my derivative there. I chose, before I even went through, I already chose to do a second derivative. Why? Because it's easy to differentiate. I know I'm going to have to test. Um, see, it says justify your answer. So I'm going to need to show that this is a maximum. Thanura, question. Yep. And I didn't, like I didn't simplify it in there, yep. but I got the same thing, yep. but I just didn't simplify it. Okay, so the question is about the numbers, yeah? I'm going to put to the rest of you, what is this question about? What is this question trying to assess? And there's many right answers. Tell me, tell me something it's asking for you to assess. Can you differentiate? Okay, what else is it looking for? Can you test for concavity or in the neighborhood to know what kind of a stationary point you found? Uh, can you find a stationary point? Right? Uh, can you then interpret, etc.? Now, can we do all of those? Is there another one you're thinking of? Can you divide 225 by 3? <laughs> you're cheeky. Can you divide 225 by 3? I think is not one of the things that this question is about. Now, that said, like you have a calculator, man. Come on, right? Um, and the, yeah, yeah, it's. I can virtually guarantee if everything else is fine, you'd get your four marks. Just. Um, Divide by 3 next time. OK, um, you can see I've done my test. I used the second derivative. Uh, please note, just look closely in here. That k, that k is a constant, but you can't just ignore it. right? So I found my second derivative. I substituted in the value of w that I found. right? But you can't just say, oh, it's not there. right? It is there, but it's positive. The question told you so. right? So being that it's positive, it doesn't change the sign of this whole product in here, right? Negative times positive times positive, that'll give you a negative. Concave down, I'm happy, OK? But that's a, that's a thing, right? I, rather than Thanura's division by 3, that thing there, if you're lucky, uh, you might get away with not putting that down. But mathematically, that's kind of important. Because if k is not greater than 0, then you have to worry about that, right? So that's a, that's a minor point, but I still think it's important. The question asks for dimensions, not just W, so that's why you can see I go through this process, I find the depth, and then off I go. Okay? 
Uh, I couldn't actually complete the last part of this question because I had to lend my calculator to someone and so I couldn't do this part. Uh, but you should, you should be able to find the numbers. Um, you can see that from here I've got the maximum strength that we found, or at least we thought we found. And then down here is the strength if it's a square beam. Yeah, and presumably I guess I would divide if I could be bothered to do that without a calculator and I would find the 8% difference, okay? All right, now for part C, I'm just looking at the time. I'm just going to show you the last part. Uh, oh, sorry, the first part of the last part. You have to eliminate the parameter. Now, we're generally pretty good at eliminating parameters, but maybe you looked at that equation and you did a Russell and you were like, oh. I you actually did this one, good on you Russell. Um, maybe you're like, I don't even want to get started because I don't even know where to go, okay? Well, being that they give you the Cartesian equation, that's a big red flag for you to say, hey, 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 use this, right? I want you to know where you're going. So being that I know I'm going to end up with y equals, and then look at that Cartesian, that big awful rational function mess, I can find what x plus 1 is, I've been told what x is, and I can find what x minus 1 is. That's what I do here. Can you see? I've um, I found what x plus 1 is and I just simplified that out. I found what x minus 1 is uh, and I simplified that out. And then I just throw them into what they've told me, right? Like I can work with this thing and then it should all come out in the wash. It looks terrible, but it does, sure enough, come out in the wash. Okay, so you don't need to guess as to how to, what, what way do I twist these things to combine them. Um, if they give you a clue, use the clue. Okay. <laughs>